Burning Man Waking Dreams in 2022 brought many challenges. The extreme heat, 60 mile per hour winds, and whiteout dust storms were bad enough. But one of the worst challenges was just getting to the gate when it was time to go home. In the exodus from hell. So I'll just give you an update on our exodus from Burning Man. Last night we were packed up, ready to go home. At like three in the morning was my goal to leave because normally when you leave Burning Man at three in the morning, it's like an hour wait. You breeze right through the gate and right through Gerlock. Last night the radio said it was like 13 hours and don't leave. It was all gung ho to leave, packed up everything and just to find out we can't. Essentially, we're gonna wait here until the sun goes low, and it seems the lines are got dying down, but we can't wait 13 hours in the blistering heat, so hopefully it goes down to like five hour wait, and we're gonna leave around sunset. The build crew was exhausted and sleeping off the heat after tearing down camp and dealing with some morning drama. Our team rested before the long drive home. The exodus has been absolute hell. We waited on Playa all afternoon because the lines were like 12 hours right here just to get to the road, not to Reno, last night. And then throughout the day, they haven't really improved. They've been like seven hours to get to the road. We thought we'd wait it out, so we spent all Monday here at Playa just hanging out, packing up, eating food. And finally at like night, eight o'clock, we decided, you know, it must be slow enough to leave. Maybe the, you know, the gate's open, enough people have left. The gate is just straight up closed, all because four cars have stalled on the road. It's a two lane highway, thousands of cars in line, essentially just waiting for them to reopen the gate so we can pulse where we move a little bit and then stop again. But I don't even know if the gates are open. We've been sitting here for about an hour and a half. I'm gonna spin some fire because there isn't anything else to do and I have a shit ton of fuel. like a quarter of a mile and we're stuck back on the road and our neighbor is gonna make us some cookies <laughs> in their little storage compartment. Yeah. What kind of cookies are they? We actually tried to make, make pancakes but uh, the dough was too dry. Mm -hmm. We made some cookies. Cookies with the same dough? Yeah, coconut flour. Thank you so much. It's 3.15 in the morning and we got in the line at 9 p.m. to leave Burning Man. And we are just now hitting concrete. We have left the playa after six hours of waiting and pulsing. After the exodus, it was a quick drive to Carson City where I had my first meal in an air-conditioned breakfast diner after the burn. Conveniently, half of our camp showed up in Carson City at the exact same time. It's the box truck from the burn. The box truck from the burn. <laughs> we ventured just 20 miles up the mountain to Sand Harbor at Lake Tahoe, where we had more restaurant food and drinks. But the best feeling was to wash off the dust and nourish our skin in the lake's water. After a long and difficult burn... Don't come to Burning Man! We had finally made it back to the default world. What started as an exodus from hell ended up giving me a day with my friends closer to heaven. 
I'm sure it was obvious that we were coming straight from Burning Man. Something might have just given us away. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Subscribe for more content from Burning Man Waking Dreams. Thank you for watching.